This is your CBSLA.com News Brief. Hello, I'm Pat Harvey, and here's what's happening. The search continues for a man who is suspected of killing a woman in a Long Beach motel. The victim's sister says she's Lynette Washington, a 29-year-old with six children. People living in the neighborhood near the motel on Long Beach Boulevard were evacuated while SWAT moved in looking for the killer. If you're headed up the 15 freeway through the Cajon Pass this weekend, expect delays in Fontana. The freeway is shut down in both directions at the Duncan Canyon Road exit and will reopen at 6 a.m. on Monday morning. The detour will take you off the freeway on the Duncan Canyon Road off campus and then back on the freeway on the Duncan Canyon on ramps. The Metro Blue Line is reopened in Willowbrook after a collision between a car and train shut down the tracks Friday afternoon. It happened at Willowbrook and 119th Street. One person on the train complained of chest pains and was taken to the hospital. Two people inside the car were treated for minor injuries. In Echo Park, someone modified a signal light at the intersection of Echo Park and Scott Avenues with the vegan friendly message. The red light says stop meat and the green light says go vegan. No word on who changed the signal. For the latest on these stories and your news any time of day, stay with CBSLA.com. Now here's Jackie Johnson with a look at our weather. Jackie. Thank you so much, Pat. Well, we do have a ridge of high pressure that's going to keep our skies nice and clear and keep us on the warm side. But that trough of low pressure to our north will cool us down about 5 to 10 degrees for your Sunday. Get ready for a hot, sunny Saturday, 70s, 80s, even 90s inland. Pat. All right, thanks, Jackie. And that's your CBS 2 LA News update. Remember, we're always on. Be sure to watch us on CBS 2 News at 5, 6, and 11. And click Listen Live on our webpage to hear KNX News Radio and our other stations live anywhere you are.